In this episode of Merrill Moments, I speak with Kelly Zagzebski from Wisconsin Public Service Corporation, looking at what will be a project later this summer and into the fall to remove some of the unsightly towers and transmission line that goes along the river and right along the River Bend Trail. We have a number of projects coming to the Merrill area. Today I'm really excited to share about a project that runs along the River Bend Trail. What we are doing is we are changing the voltage between our Merrill Hydro substation and the connection to Pine, which is over on Big Eddy Road. What we're going to do is actually take and remove these huge lattice poles and wood poles that run along the River Bend Trail and relocate our system along Logan Street. When you get here to the corner of the River Bend Trail and Logan, you're going to see these distribution poles and some transmission poles. This area is going to look very similar when we get done with our project. So just wanted people to be aware that we are making some changes, but visually when we get done, there's not much that people are going to notice other than the beautiful shoreline and land and trail that's no longer going to have the utility poles by the Wisconsin River. So the best part about this project is when people are using the trail, whether they're biking, rollerblading, walking, they're going to get a beautiful view of the Wisconsin River. And all the work that the River Bend Trail folks have been doing, this is going to enhance everything that they've got along this trail heading to the east. Right now, uh, we are working on the final design, and then we'll be doing some contacts of landowners, um, municipality contacts, and doing just kind of getting the messages out there that this is going to start. When the project actually is undertaken, um, there will be some outage of power. In any of our planned outages, we work directly with the affected customer. So they will be notified directly and get an update as to when it, when it will be out and back on. Uh, just more from a safety perspective, we don't do a full blast out there in the community about an outage, so we just work directly with the customer. There'll just be a few customers that'll be affected by the outage. Over on Logan, we will be uh, doing some traffic monitoring as well as rerouting of traffic just from a safety perspective. So there may be a small impact out there, especially to some of the businesses that are along there and some of the residential customers. But again, we'll, we'll be right out there and working directly with those customers. As uh, we're working on this project, we found that in some cases, some of the poles as well as the lines out there are vintage, meaning from 1937, 1940, 1960s. Depending on effect of the system, we've done upgrades uh, on a smaller scale, but this is our full upgrade along the whole system within the Merrill community. We're very excited with our partnership with the Merrill Historical Society. We've got a permanent exhibit that's located within their their exhibits. Uh, it has tons of information on our hydros as well as our electric distribution and transmission system. So uh, it's, it's really neat to be able to partner with them. Uh, it, it's, we just really feel that this is the right thing to do for the Merrill community coming from that perspective. First phase of the project will begin at the end of August and it'll go through mid-November. The work will actually be done by our Wisconsin Public Service employees as well as some contractors that we've got out there. Our thanks to Kelly Zagzebski and Wisconsin Public Service for maintaining reliable power to our community and at the same time helping to beautify the area of the Riverbend Trail along the Wisconsin River. That's it for this episode. Until next time, thanks for watching.